so nervous, you know? Like, please go inside. Please, what are you doing? You just like, it's too far. Nah? Oh, thanks God, thanks God. She was like, you know, almost like outside the window without, please don't do that, please stop it. So sorry for, for that woman, you know, she was cleaning the windows and you know what happened today? Yeah. So tomorrow is going to be my last day here. Right now it's 7 a.m. It's usually the time when I wake up around like 6 to 7. Right now it's 7. Um, I got to start learning Korean, brother. Uh, like, I don't know why it's so hard and it's so difficult to make a decision to start learning Korean. First of all, I am Korean. <laughs> yeah, ethnically I'm Korean. Uh, second of all, um, my family lives in Korea, like part of my family lives in Korea, it's, it's, it's kind of like, I'm going to come back there, back and forth, so why not learn Korean? Um, third thing is, I make decisions every day, you know, I am good at making decisions, um, it, at work and then also at my personal life, I'm very good, at this. I think that's the soft skill that I actually develop, you know, during my time. Um, but why it is so hard to make a decision to finally start learning Korean? There is a Korean restaurant right here, like 100 meters from me. And Koreans, real, real Koreans work there. They love me. I love them too because they make my favorite food. Because my favorite cuisine is Korean, obviously. And um, yeah, they want to communicate with me. Because I know just like some words, you know, and they say something to me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm Korean, but I'm not, I was, wasn't born in Korea and all that stuff. But it's just, it just like a little thing. But they really want to talk. And I'm like, oh, I really cannot. And the same situation happened to me in Mexico. In Mexico. I was in Mexico and I was trying to find Korean food because I'm Korean. I'm basically, I love Korean food. I cannot live without it. So without kimchi, without, without everything. So... I found out the shop, which was, which was actually also very close to mine. I came there and there was a lady, a Korean lady, and, um, and I think it was his, her son. Yeah, her son. And I was talking to them when I was buying kimchi from, from, from in, in, the, in the store. And, they, she, and we were speaking Spanish because I speak Spanish a, a little bit, not a little bit, definitely much better than Korean. <laughs> And I was I speaking, I think, I can say my, my, right now my Spanish is much worse, but at that time it was like around B1, maybe B2. So, I, we started talking in Spanish. Hola, como esta señora y, y otras, and, you know, and all that things. And, uh, and then she asked me, like, are you, you Korean? I mean, you look Korean, but I, at that time I had the long hair, so you kind of don't know, because uh, most of Koreans don't, you know, don't have that long hair. I had a very long hair. So yeah, and, um, and there is a video with me and uh, with long hair in Mexico on my channel. So yeah, if you want to check it out. Uh, so, uh, so we started talking and she was a lot, of, started asking a lot of questions and it was a good talk because I was obviously, you know, the customer who going to come back because I, I, you know, I went to that shop every week, I think every week. So, and also she wanted to connect and she wanted to connect in Korea, in Korean, but I don't speak Korean. So obviously you know, there was no that type of connection. And what she said to me was very interesting because she said that, you know, a lot of Mexican, uh, Mexican speak, Mexican people, especially Mexican girls come to this place and they talk very good Korean. Why don't you learn Korean? Because you are Korean <laughs> and you can learn the languages because you already speak English, uh, Spanish and Russian. So you should learn Korean. That's what she said to me. She was very kind. 
Um, and I like that. At that time, you know, when she said that, I was like, yeah, actually, you know, well, it makes sense. But it was two years ago, and since then, I haven't learned a word. Maybe one word, or maybe two words. I even been in Korea for some time, for a long time, basically for four months, or five months in total. Yeah, maybe four. And and I know how to learn languages. Another thing is I'm a linguist, and you know, maybe it's not just because I'm a linguist, but I had a talent to learn languages at the beginning, and then I kind of developed the system how to learn. Not the system, the system for me, you know, what I can keep up with better. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I already have learned English, I already kind of learned a little bit of Spanish, so I know how to learn languages. And it is a skill, you know, that, you know, kind of you, you develop my system or structure how to memorize things better or faster. So um, in terms of any language, it's not about Korean or, you know, I just know it. So... I have everything, you know, kind of settled to do that. You know, uh, I have like, you know, the base to the base. I'm not talking about the base of the language. I'm not talking about like the base of, um, you know, kind of in terms of skills and in terms of abilities, you know, even in terms of personality, I'm Korean. So I'm basically, you know, in many terms, I am Korean in many ways, the way I do things, the way I, you know, maybe sometimes the way I think even, it is Korean. But of course, because I was born and raised in Russia, it, 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 you know, I have a huge effect on my personality as a Russian person. Um, and, uh, and of course, most of my life I've been living in a Russian language society. So Russian culture is, you know, kind of integrated inside of me. It's not the biggest part of me, I'm going to say it, because I'm definitely multi kind of international I should say a person, culture person, yeah, but still it is. it was a big part, but it's not about that, it's about the Korean, so still I am 100% Korean, you know, it's, it's in my blood in somewhere, but back to the point of making decision, it is so hard to make a decision, so first of all, I don't make decisions like, like, you know, I, I, you know, it's hard for me to make a decision because when I make a decision, I just go in, all in, you know, I go 100% and I don't want to quit, you know, because at this point of my life, why, you know, it's so pointless to make a decision when you know that you're going to quit, you know, in, in a particular, fu- in not in the near future. So for me at this point, like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say or make promises to myself, which I'm not going to keep or which I'm not going to do. So maybe that's why it is hard for me to make a decision to finally start learning Korean, even though the world telling me, please start learning Korean. There are people, you know, who wants to even connect with you, but you don't speak Korean. Almost my last training, you know, no, actually last training is going to be tomorrow. But uh, then I went to a Korean restaurant, which I said before, and today, uh, so the mother, she was speaking to me in Korean. And of course, like you kind of sense when people want to connect with you and she was speaking to me and I was like, yeah, I don't speak Korean. Damn. Damn it, I don't speak Korean and uh, unfortunately I cannot connect with you. But I would love to, I would love to do that. And I just have to make a decision to learn or not to learn and forget about it. Just forget about it at all. But during my life, I still get into into the situation when kind of, it would be good to know. I don't get to the situation when the Italian language is kind of good to know, right? I get to the situation when it's good to know Korean. So, 
Am I gonna be stupid enough to not make this decision, not start learning Korean? Or I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna, you know, just start, just start doing it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Let's see. Okay, let's have a little shot. Let's have a little shot, which is. <sighs> it is my last day here. I'm. I'm really excited. I'm very happy to go on vacation with uh, with my friend. Um, yeah, it's been a, I've been waiting for this, this, you know, for this vacation to see my friends. I haven't seen them for years and uh, it's definitely going to be a, you know, kind of happy and uh, very, very sweet moment actually, you know, because I, I really, I, I do miss them. I do miss them. Um, yeah, French means a lot to me. It's been wonderful. It's like, it's been very beneficial in many ways. It's been enjoyable. It's been uh, lovely. It's been a long, lonely time. Not lonely, just like a um, time alone. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be better to put it in this way. Um, but also it was very kind of... Um, I think the, it was a lot of insight uh, during this time. A lot of thoughts, ideas that um, I actually created those ideas. A lot of improvement as a person and the personality and just like... You know, just like by analyzing life, but also making those videos, it's been like very beneficial for me in every possible way, which I can analyze myself and see, you know, I kind of right now have a possibility to look at myself as a thought person. But another thing which is also very important, I kind of look at myself and I can laugh, you know. I look like, oh my God, you're making videos and it's so funny for me to even look at me, you know, from a different perspective. It gives me a lot of joy. Um, I definitely, it's been, it's been an, um, you know, there's been a lot of improvement during this time. And I don't know why it happens to be here and why it happens. It always happens when I'm alone. Um, maybe it's something connected to that. In, and I always improve when I'm alone uh, better. When... Um, compared to with friends or with family, I do I do really uh, improve much when I'm alone. But uh, it's time to go to see my friends. Time to spend time together. Uh, I cannot wait. And then I'm going to Korea. I'm privileged to have my life, and I do understand it. And I try. And only now I try to enjoy my life as much as I can, and trying to 
you know, kind of rediscover my personality or something, you know, just like it, it's a process, you know, it's a, it's a long process to do. But anyway, it's been it's been a lot of joy and it's been a lot of interest and pure interest of making those videos and creating this stuff. So I can even look at myself and laugh. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being my guest at my home. Come with me and you'll be in a world.